morning, everyone. Rami, hi. Oh my goodness, I need to turn my computer down. Good morning. I joined just a second late, so we'll let we'll wait just a few more seconds for people to join. Good morning from Vancouver. Hello from Norway. My friend Rami from Germany. Look at this. Just an international live today. Who's excited about Friday? Who's excited for Friday to be back? I am. I am excited. <clears throat> Good morning, welcome. We're gonna get started in just a second. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna see how many people, yeah, I think we're ready. We have lots on. So good morning, thanks for joining everyone. Happy Friday, happy Friday. It's back, finally. Um, we had to put our Fridays on hold for a couple of weeks due to um, order shipments being delayed, but we are caught up and Friday is back. So we're going to be talking about the three oils right here that are part of our Frye cell. Um, we're going to do a constituent in a jar giveaway. We're going to, it's constituent in a jar. Did I say that? Sound, sounded funny. Um, we're going to be giving away some oils from that. And um, we're going to be doing other giveaways as well as our end of the live giveaway. Um, but I wanna see who's joining us this morning. Okay, we have um, Ashley K from YouTube says, good morning, good morning, Ashley. We have Jana who's joined us from Georgia. We have Anita who's joined us from Silverton, Oregon. Beautiful underscore mess. I feel like the world we're living in is a beautiful underscore mess right now. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel. So good morning. <laughs> Um, beautiful underscore mess is joining us from Houston. We have Nora from Myrtle Beach. Pete says greetings from Sacramento. We have Cecilia says hola from Wisconsin. Amber says morning from Texas. And she is so bored. So Amber, we're going to give you DIYs that you can go do and then clean your whole entire house today. You won't be bored after that. <laughs> We have Jessica from Illinois, Marianne from Iowa, Sweet Jenna 78 says air hugs, since that's all we're allowed to do. Um, she's joining us from upstate New York. A couple more on Facebook and YouTube. Liberty is joining us from Ohio. Yes, Ohio. My screen went away. And Stephanie from Seattle. And then I'm going to scoot up here and see who's joining us from Instagram. So we have keep calm get my oils on that is a good what mantra for right now is that the right word for this wonderful covid time of our lives um she's joining us from washington we have cassie johnson 45 from georgia lots of people excited about friday we have juanita from chicago um charlie barnes from oklahoma Tracy from Indiana has joined us. We have Dancer Array from Vegas. My in-laws live in Vegas. We have Vintage Minimalist Mama from Oregon who's joined us. Kara from Alabama. Um, Romanco underscore Clarita from Illinois. She says, Illinois represent. <laughs> and the Queen Quad from Ohio. Um, some from Idaho, Missouri. 
Mrs. Carolyn Miller says, hi from South Carolina. Thanks so much for helping my motivation to clean. That's what I'm here for. I'd give you a tour of my house, but it's such a mess, you guys. So maybe we should do a live where I make these DIY cleaners and I clean my house for you. Maybe that's what we should do. I'd be working and cleaning my house. It would be amazing. It'd be amazing. I would be getting so much done. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen though. <clears throat> okay. Thank you for joining us. So many people. Isn't your quarantine up now, Retha? Um, Lynn, you know, that's a really good question. My quarantine is up the last day. And trust me, we do a stand up morning meeting at plant therapy every day during the week. And we've been just, you know, calling in since all of us are working from home that can. And, um, <clears throat> And like for multiple days, I would be like, hey, I only have three days left of quarantine. Woo woo, two days left. So the 25th was officially my last day of quarantine. However, on the 25th, the governor of Idaho made an announcement and he put in place a stay home order. So my quarantine is over and the day it's over, a stay home order was put in place for the whole state of Idaho and I still can't leave. So... You know, that was rough, <laughs> but enough about me. Maybe not enough about me. I don't know. I think after this live, I'm going to go get some peppermint because one of my favorite combinations is citruses and we have lemon and blood orange here, tea tree and peppermint. I love the way it smells. It just is like really bright and uplifting and it's cleansing and it's wonderful. And I feel like that's what I need because I was kind of emotional yesterday. I, I was watching a video of one of my nieces who absolutely loves me. <laughs> and I was like, I haven't seen her in forever and she's not gonna know who I am after this quarantine and stuff. Anyways, don't even get me started, I'll start to cry. Okay, enough about Retha because really I'm probably gonna start to cry. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to give me a boost of positivity coming my way. Retha, I was just going to call you, that's my sister. I messaged her yesterday and I said, your daughters aren't gonna know me anymore. Please FaceTime me tomorrow. And she just messaged me or she just commented on the live saying, I was going to call you right now. Annie, call me as soon as the live's over. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I need to get in a better mood. So let's do a constituent <laughs> in a jar. I do need some love. Which peppermint, Western or regular? I use the regular. <clears throat> you could use the Western. Absolutely. Um, it would smell great too. Oh, there's only one left in here, but I use the regular. That's just what I have on hand. Okay, <clears throat> constituents in a jar. For those of you who don't know how to participate and play this game with us, um, in my hand, I have a constituent. I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to tell you some of the therapeutic benefits of this constituent, and I want you guys to guess what constituent I'm talking about, or you can guess what oils that constituent might be found in and leave your guesses in the comment section because after everyone guesses, even if you are completely wrong, just place your guess in the comment section because I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to choose um, some winners based off of those who participated. So even if you're wrong, I just need you to participate. Get it, got it good? Okay, <clears throat> constituents in the jar. Who thinks that I should make up some songs for these giveaways? Probably not, but let me know if you think I should. Okay, this constituent, sounds like I need this constituent, is calming and uplifting. It helps deter outdoor nuisances. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what I was saying there. I should read before I start to talk. Um, promotes mental and physical well-being and is a skin restorative. So it's calming and uplifting. It helps deter outdoor nuisances. It promotes mental and physical well-being, which all of us could use right now. Well, at least me, I should just speak to myself, but I assume most of us. And it is a skin restorative. Any guesses on that constituent? And then we have questions coming in that Danny's posting for me. Thanks, Danny. I'll get to those questions. Let's see, we have some linalool. It's not linalool. Um, we have guesses. There's a lot of correct guesses, you guys. Um, we have citronella, lemongrass, orange, lavender. A lot of people guessing lavender. 
Um, but I do see a lot of correct guesses. So Brandy got it right on Facebook and the correct um, constituent, I forgot the word, the correct constituent is geranial. I know that it's, I think it's backwards anywhere. Anyways, geranial is the correct constituent. And geranial can be found in lemongrass, Melissa, which Melissa is one of the absolute best oils um, in times of like severe sadness, um, when you like, you know, if a lot of times if um, a, a customer has a loved one that has passed away or something, we recommend Melissa um, for them to diffuse and inhale um, because it's just a really good, like intensely like calming and grounding and just really good for, for deep and emotional sadness. Um, and then may change. So those are the three oils, which means we're going to do three giveaways and, um, one of the customers will win each of these. So since there's only three, I'm going to choose the customer that wins it. So I'm just gonna start with lemongrass because it's first on the paper. And um, we're gonna do a um, two on Facebook and YouTube and one on Instagram. So I'm gonna go up. So the first one, first winner I choose is going to get a, a lemongrass. Okay, hold on you guys. I don't know why it does this sometimes. My thing doesn't want to scroll. I think it's because you guys are commenting so fast. Oh man, no, maybe I'm gonna go to Instagram. Oh, here we go, okay. Now we're scrolling. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes now. Okay, Amy, oh, Amy Holly, there it goes. Amy Holly, I thought it disappeared for a second. Amy Holly, you just won yourself a lemongrass. Email cs at planttherapy.com and we will get that sent to you. I'm going to do a Melissa on Instagram and then I'm gonna hop, hop back to Facebook and YouTube and, and give away the matching. So Melissa, I'm gonna give away a Melissa. Um, Karen Seth. Karen Seth, her guess was geranial. Um, Karen Seth, you are the winner of Melissa. So email cs at planttherapy.com and we will get Melissa sent to you. I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom so I can see the comments as they come through. Okay, and then last but not least, one more on here. What oil is good for sadness? Melissa, Melissa is good for sadness. That's a question that just came through. Um, okay, so this is for Mei Chang. I'm gonna close my eyes again, right here. Lynn. Coma. Oh, she was congratulating Amy. That's so fun. Um, Lynn, and then the last name, C O M E A U X, I believe is that how it's spelled, but it went away. So, but that's I think that's how it was spelled. Um, so Lynn, you're the you're the winner of a May chain. Email CS at planttherapy.com and we will get that sent to you. Congratulations, you three. Those are those are awesome oils to win. I mean, just based off of the, that constituent itself, right? Calming, uplifting, promotes mental and physical well-being. It's good for the skin. Like, come on, who doesn't need that right now? Yes, congratulations to all. Okay, I'm gonna hop on over to Danny questions um, because we have a couple of them. So um, you can ask, so we have Aiden Olmstead said, can I ask an oil question? You guys ask as many questions as you want. Um, Danny is looking through those questions and he is going to post um, post them here for me so I can see them and I'll also be looking through, but it's, it's hard to do it when there's so many different places. So um, the first question before we get to talk about the Friday oils. Um, one of the questions that we have is from Michelle Wagner and she said, Retha, any hints on the release of the release date for the sanitizing spray? So I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but we, um, it, it's not something that, well, let me just explain. Um, so we are releasing a sanitizing spray. Um, most likely, really, it's all been, um, like we've we've manufactured it all we've um, like made up the hand sanitizer spray here at our warehouse and that is ready to go um, and the label should be delivered today so best case scenario it will be posted on the website today worst case scenario is it will be posted or it will 
yeah, we'll post it. I mean, it's posted on the website. It's just out of stock. Um, so best case scenario, we will have stock added today. Worst case scenario, stock will be added Monday. Um, but there's a couple things that I, I want to make sure you guys understand. Um, we have a very, very, very limited amount of quantity on this. In fact, I, I think, um, I mean, it's very limited, like less than a hundred bottles or something. Um, and so the reason that we are launching this is plant therapy for the last six months or more. Um, we have been formulating and um, coming up with a, a really moisturizing hand sanitizer. This was before like COVID even hit, right? Um, we've been working on this for months and months and months, at least six months. And um, when everything started happening and hand sanitizers were running out, um, we tried to push the launch date of our um, hand sanitizer that we've been working on for, for a long time. Um, we were still like months out, probably two to three months out, something like that. Um, and so we tried to just, we tried to speed that up. That product will be launching the middle of April. Um, who the World Health Organization came out with a very basic hand sanitizer and they said if you can meet, if you formulate it exactly like we say and you do these exact things, um, then more companies and businesses can offer this hand sanitizer because it was in such high demand and there wasn't any available. So Plant Therapy were like, we'll jump on this and hopefully we can get through until we launch our you know, our hand sanitizer that we've been formulating and, and working on for a long time. Um, and so this, we got in all of this, all of the ingredients that we could and the amounts that we could, which was very limited because even the bulk ingredients are not available. Um, and now like they have raised the prices so high, they're not affordable. Um, so originally we got in all that we could, we made up, we're making up as much as we could, but it is still such a limited supply. Um, so get it if you can, um, but know that we will be launching more hand sanitizer and our own um, exclusive formula um, about the, the middle of April. So that's just a little information of, of what's happening there. Um, so yeah, if, if, you, if you don't get it when we launch because it is such a limited quantity, just know that within the next couple of weeks, um, maybe even less than that, we'll have, we'll have another hand sanitizer. Um, available for purchase. So, okay, let's see. Let's get a couple questions. We have lots of questions coming in. Danny, he's so fast, you guys. Um, let's see. Do you know when aloe jellies will be restocked? Okay, that's a great question too. So, um, Plant Therapy has been formulating a new aloe jelly where the ingredients are a bit cleaner. They're a bit better. Um, out, the aloe jelly that we sell now is is really a great aloe jelly. Um, however, it doesn't meet like our new strict standards that we've set for clean ingredients. Um, there's a couple, or at least I think it's just one ingredient actually that's in there and off the top of my head, I don't know what one it is, um, that we are trying to replace. Um, so we have formulated that new aloe jelly and um, we got a ton in and because the whole COVID-19 thing happened and everyone was making their own hand sanitizer, um, the, uh, the, our new aloe jelly we actually sold out of. So you guys bought it and you completely, even though it was like a six month supply, like we sold out of it really fast within like days, I think, um, because everyone was wanting it to buy, the, um, to be able to make their own hand sanitizer. So we are getting more in. Um, however, that was supposed to be like a six month supply. Um, but I believe we will have it in the beginning of May, I believe is when, when our new formulated, um, when we will have the, the labels and stuff um, and the bulk ingredients to make the new formulated lavender aloe. So unfortunately that's what happened with that. Um, but we, we are getting more of the bulk in stock so we can make more of our, our new formulated aloe jellies. Um, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> let's do one more question and then, um, and then we will move to the, the Friday. How does that sound? I'm going to see Danny, are you getting questions? Yeah, you are from, um, from, Instagram as well. So the question that I'm going to do is, um, hold on, let's see. What's, so this is from Hannah. She says, what's best for seasonal allergies? Spending a lot of time outside setting up our chicken coop. Well, congratulations on your new chickens or your soon to be new chickens in your chicken coop. That's really cool. Um, we actually had a Friday 
last week or, or two, what, two or three weeks ago, whenever we did our last Friday, that was all about allergies. So I recommend Hannah that you go to the blog um, and you find, you can search up Friday and find that Friday and it talks about awesome oils that are good for allergies. Um, Blue Tansy is one of, is the single that is best known to help with allergies. Um, and then Plant Therapy also sells our uh, couple blends, Clear Again and Sneezy Stop. Sneezy Stop is the kid safe version, Clear Again is the adult version, and both of those are fantastic. Um, I recommend using them in personal inhalers. Um, because that's a great way you can use them outside as well use them inside It's just a great way to use um, Oils that help with allergies throughout the day. So that's how I would recommend you use them Okay, Danny's sending in a lot of more questions, but I um, <laughs> He says I'm going to post a lot of more questions than you need to answer but I just want to give you lots of options That's sweet of them Okay, so Friday 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 how many of you guys have already seen um, what oils are are we're doing for the Friday? Raise your hand if you've already seen it. Um, as you remember, hopefully, um, the new Friday we offer three products that are fifteen percent off, um, starting Friday around nine thirty through Monday evening, um, and usually we remove it around four thirty five ish. You know, just depending on um, at what time, but it ends Monday evening. So the three new products, um, this is a kind of a, um, it's our, it's our cleaning, uh, what do we call it? I don't know. It's the cleaning Friday. I don't know. There's a word I can't think of it. <laughs> so lots of people raising your hand. Good. Um, so this Friday, this weekend for Friday, the three products that you can get on discount on 15 for 15% off are tea tree blood orange and lemon you guys these oils are amazing not only are they probably oils that you already have um, or you've had on your wish list for a long time but they're also oils that can really help get you through this this you know crazy time they're immune boosting they're cleansing they're great to put in your own homemade diy hand sanitizers they're great to put in your um diy household cleaners and we have a recipe on the blog for that um i'm going to talk about some of my favorite ways to use this oil i want you guys to tell us what are some of your favorite ways to use these oils um, but the three oils that you can save 15 percent on are tea tree blood orange and lemon and another good news about this is that um you can save 15% off on any of the sizes. So whether it's the 10 mil um, all the way up to the 100 mil or tea tree also comes in a roll on, any of those sizes you can save 15% on. So it's really a fantastic Friday. Um, we were excited that this happened to be the Friday right now um, because it, it's like the perfect time for it. So um, if you go to planttherapy.com forward slash Friday, that is the landing page. Um, you'll be able to purchase the products right from that page. And um, it also gives you links to these live videos so that people could come watch the live videos, learn more about the products. And then at the bottom, um, it takes you to, there's a link that will take you to the blog post. So that's where we are going to go. Um, and we're going to talk about this DIY. So. The blog post is really awesome because it breaks down each of the oils individually and, and kind of helps educate a little bit on um, you know what that oil is good for. It gives you basic information like is it kid safe, um, you know how you can use it, if, if there's any like um, cautions on that oil. So the blog post is really good to really help educate you on the individual oils. And then at the bottom of the blog post, um, we give you a DIY. And this DIY I think is especially awesome right now because I've seen so many of you talk about the need to clean your house or cleaning your house this time. Um, and that's what it is. It's an all purpose DIY cleaner. And um, you will need these three oils. Um, and then it also recommends using eucalyptus. Um, but really the nice thing about these these DIYs is you can add whatever oils you have on hand So maybe you have germ destroyer and you want to use that Maybe you only have lemon and tea tree and so those are the only or maybe you only want to purchase lemon and tea tree And so those are the oils that you're going to use um, you really can can customize it to your own likings and um, and with what oils you have on hand, but it's a really awesome recipe, um, a super clean, easy, all-purpose DIY cleaner. So make sure you check out that. Um, you'll need water, vinegar, dish soap, a spray bottle, and then the oils that you're going to use in it. So really 
simple ingredients. Um, most likely you have all those ingredients at your house already um, so that you can make it up today. And, and it's, it cleans really well. And then depending, you know, of course, the oils you smell, the ones that you choose and love, it, it smells amazing too. Really fresh, clean. Um, you can get really, you know, unique and, and have a fun time making up your own blends. Um, let's see, Jen LBS says, can you add an oil to your store-bought hand sanitizers to make the smell better? Um, you probably can, yeah. So um, I know that with the hand sanitizers that Plant Therapy are coming out with um, in, in April, um, you absolutely can to that because what we're doing is we're testing um, We've, we've tested, not testing, because it's already been done, the efficacy of it of um, the hand sanitizer base with the 2% essential oil dilution. So if you will sell that in, um, we're selling that with our germ fire blend in it right now, or when we launch it, as well as an unscented. Um, so we know that anytime anybody, anybody buys the unscented, they can do a 2% dilution of any essential oils that they choose, and it's still just as effective at killing germs. Um, so we know that. So that's a that's a huge benefit for Plant Therapy's um, hand sanitizer because that's something that we've specifically tested, and um, and so we we can tell you that and know that it absolutely is 100% true and and just as effective and awesome. Um, I imagine that with store hand sanitizers, it would be very similar. Um, however, I can't speak to the actual like right how effective it would be after that because I haven't personally tested it, but. But I imagine that like with the with the um, hand sanitizer that will be launching like either today or Monday, but I, I'm pretty sure it will be today. Um, it has such a high alcohol content that even a 2% essential oil dilution still meets the minimum of the 60% alcohol content. Um, so I would say you can absolutely buy it. We're launching it as an unscented because that's the criteria that the a World Health Organization has set that you have to use just their ingredients and none other. So it will be an unscented, um, and it's I believe it's like a 75% alcohol content, maybe 70, but even like a one to two percent essential oil dilution um, will still give you enough alcohol content in there to make it effective. Um, I want you to note that it it is it does have a very strong alcohol aroma, um, but what we're seeing is as soon as that alcohol evaporates, then you have that that wonderful essential oil smell left. So it's really awesome. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm getting thumbs up. I just wanted to make sure there weren't any other questions about that. I'm going to check Danny's really fast. And then I'm going to share with you my favorite ways to use these, these oils. Um, cause if you guys have, um, watched these lives and followed us for a while now, you will know how obsessed I am with tea tree, especially from this list. Um, but I'm going to give you some, some other things that I love. Um, let's see, um, can you diffuse other oils with germ fighters? So you can, um, I wouldn't think it's necessarily, I mean, it's n not necessary. Um, germ fighter is going to do an, an amazing job on its own. However, if, if you don't particularly love the smell of germ fighter, maybe you think it's too strong with something, um, you definitely can add other oils to, to try to, you know, change that scent to something that you prefer a bit more. Um, but from like how effective it is, germ fighter by itself is absolutely amazing and you're going to, you're going to see huge benefits from it. Um, but you can add something if, if you choose. Um, let's see, Monica M. Booth says, can you partner with the government body to get that hand sanitizer to frontline healthcare workers? Um, yeah, so that, that is something that we've definitely looked into, um, and, I, I don't have an update, um, but there's there's a few things that plant therapy is is doing right now, and we're gonna share that um, like in a in um, we're gonna share that with you guys soon, probably sometime next week, the beginning middle of next week. Um, so there are some things that we are working on that plant therapy is doing. Um, we've spent a lot of our attention and time on on um, how we can help our local communities because right now, as you probably know, there's a lot of needs, um, and so we're doing a lot of a lot of that. Um, but I love the idea, and I know that it's needed, um, and that's something that that we've definitely looked into, and and will continue to look into. So thank you, thank you for for bringing that up. Um, let's see, one more question. I think I already said that, but one more question. Um, random. When may, when may we see vanilla oleo resin in stock again? 
Honestly, I have no idea. I do know that we are bringing another vanilla in stock. I, I don't know when that is, so I probably shouldn't even have said it. Um, but I know that we've we've sourced it, and I think it's past all testing, but maybe it's still in the testing process. Um, but I do know that we plan to bring a new vanilla in because I don't I don't know about the vanilla oleo resin. Honestly, you can email cs at planttherapy.com and maybe they'll have a better answer for you on that. Okay. Um, I see some questions about the recipe. The recipe can be found on the blog for those that are looking for the recipe. Um, you can search planttherapy.com forward slash Friday and on that page, the bottom of the page, it will take you to that blog link or just go to our blog and it's the most recent blog post right now. Um, okay, is there a difference between blood orange and sweet orange? Um, therapeutically, they're very similar. Um, there is a bit of a difference in the aroma um, but therapeutically you could use either one interchangeably, honestly. Okay. So some of my favorite ways to use these oils, I already mentioned that one of my absolute favorite combos in a diffuser is teach, uh, tea tree, peppermint, and a citrus. I often use lemon because I have a ton of lemon at my house. Um, and I'll explain why to you in a minute, but blood orange, I've also used orange and it's amazing smelling, but tea tree, I usually do, I don't know, probably equal amounts of peppermint and the citrus and then just a few drops of tea tree. Um, tea tree just kind of balances it out. I don't even know how to explain it, but it just like really balances the blend out, but I love diffusing that. That blend is energizing, it's uplifting, and it's cleansing. And I not only love the aroma of it, but I also love the therapeutic benefits of that blend. So I would highly recommend you try it. Tea tree, peppermint, and lemon. Um, it's a great, great combination. Or you could use an orange too if you have it. That smells really good too. Like I mentioned, I just have a ton of lemon. And the reason I have a ton of lemon is because I use lemon um, in my cleaning all the time. One of my favorite things to do is just when I'm washing my countertops, I just do a sink full of soapy water and I put a few drops of lemon. It makes my house smell so bright and clean, citrusy, wonderful, like it just smells so good. Um, and lemon is really good at like degreasing, it's really good at making things shiny and clean. Um, I've used lemon, I use lemon all the time in cleaning. Um, I've also made my own like carpet cleaner um, and have used lemon in that. It's really good. I've also made, um, and a lot of these these DIYs can be found on the blog. So just search like, you know, carpet cleaner or um, I've made like my own kind of soft, soft scrub substitute um, and lemon and that makes a huge difference. So that's really good for um, like your, your bathroom area, like bathtubs or toilets. Um, when they start to get grimy and stuff, lemon will just brighten it up, whiten it up like fantastic. So search the blog for all of these DIYs. They're on there um, and they're amazing. And lemon, it's like hands down, if I had to choose, well, it would be between germ fighter and lemon. So lemon's like my everyday cleaning that I use, the essential oil that I use. And then germ fighter's like, if I had a child that's been sick or something, I use germ fighter in my cleaning to like really clean it, like sanitize it, get the nasties away. So, blah. Um, but those two are the oils that are must in my house for cleaning. Um, another oil that's a must in my house that I've shared with you guys a million times is tea tree. So not only is tea tree really good um, for cleaning as well, like it's hugely beneficial. Um, it's also really good like we, you know, if, if you bought a new house or you had a, a water leak in your basement and there's like a mildew smell, tea tree, tea tree, tea tree. That's what we would recommend you diffuse, you use um, to get rid of that mildewy smell um, and to freshen the air. It's, it's fantastic for that. Um, but why I especially love tea tree is to be used in my laundry. Um, so I've told you guys this so many times if, if you've watched our lives, but you know, after a long time, towels just start to smell like, eh, I don't even know, right? They get kind of like a mildewy, just to, I don't know if mildewy is the right word to use, but it's just unpleasant and all towels do that. Um, I've tried baking soda. I've tried really hot water. I've tried vinegar. I've tried all of those things in my washing machine. Um, 
and the thing that works best is tea tree. So I just put a few drops. You can add it right to your laundry detergent and then dump in your laundry detergent. I personally just dump it on my clothes, but I know a lot of customers don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, but a few drops in your laundry of towels and your towels will smell so fresh. They don't smell like tea tree. Um, they just smell so fresh and clean. Like it's amazing how well tea tree works to freshen up laundry. So huge recommendation. I'll also put tea tree, like if someone's been sick or something like that to really clean the laundry. Um, but yeah, tea tree is my go-to to help really freshen and clean my laundry when it needs that extra boost. Um, and then orange. The nice thing about orange is um, it is cleansing. It's good for the skin. Um, skin it's um, it's energizing it's uplifting it's invigorating it's bright it's fresh like just in an inhaler by itself um, I know that my son uses orange a lot in his personal aromatherapy inhaler um, I know that orange is used a lot in blends to help kind of cover up a scent that people don't like um, there are so many reasons to use orange and there's so many therapeutic benefits and it's another one that is often a must have in, in people's homes as well. So it's a great oil. All of these 15% off today through Monday evening as part of our Friday because it's back. Um, okay, Natural Mama 77 said, do you add the tea tree to the detergent area or straight into the laundry? So I personally just add it straight into the laundry. I just shake it on top of my clothes like that. Um, although I know, like I mentioned, I know a lot of customers don't feel comfortable doing that. So I would then recommend you just add it to your laundry detergent. So when you put your laundry detergent in the little cup, add a few drops of tea tree and then dump it in um, on your clothes and or in your detergent, you know, section where you're supposed to dump your detergent. Um, that's a great option too. Um, okay, read the group. Oh, okay, it looks like we have some questions. I saw a question about ingesting here. Um, so can you ingest lemon um, or other essential oils, it looks like? Um, and, you know, honestly, we don't recommend it. Um, so a couple things, essential oils and water don't mix. So a lot of people will add lemon to their water, um, a lemon essential oil to their water, and then ingest it. And I I've, I've unfortunately have seen too many people where they have sores around their lips or inside of their mouths from doing that and um, because you're getting undiluted essential oil right on those sensitive mucous membranes. So it's not something that we recommend um, doing it that way for sure. But honestly, um, like like someone mentioned on there, their, the name's gone, but um, I, my mom's an aromatherapist. I grew up using essential oils and in my lifetime, like I can only think of maybe three times that I've ingested essential oils, like for sure less than five times in my whole life. Um, growing up with someone who is an aromatherapist who's educated using essential oils our whole lives, there has only been like two or three times that I can think of that I felt that it was a strong enough need um, to do it. I did it safely, I did it diluted in capsules, um, I knew the amounts to take that were safe. So although you can, um, we recommend that you do it under the direction of someone who's qualified to administer essential oils that way. And, um, and I just would, I would just, you know, say again that it's usually not needed. Um, usually using them topically or inhaling the oils, you can get just as much benefit. It's safer. You often use less essential oils that way. Um, but if you do have any further questions than that, feel free to reach out to csaplanttherapy.com and, and they can give you some other information as well. Okay. Um, let's see, please keep sharing. Um, I want to give away, Danny, will you help me with this? I want to give away, um, to three people, these, these three oils. So we're going to choose three winners and, um, they're going to win these three oils. And, um, I want you guys to, I actually think that this might be our, um, end of video giveaway. So I should probably look at that. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm gonna go look at the, the giveaway question for our live video today. Okay, it's not, good. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is in the comment section, I want you to tell us um, your favorite ways to use these oils. Maybe it's just lemon, maybe it's just tea tree, maybe it's orange. 
Um, maybe you've never used any of them and you can tell us you know why you really want them but I want you to tell us that in the comment section a lot of people have already shared how they use those products um, I'm gonna give you guys just like a minute to tell us how you use these products in the comment section so that you you a lot of our customers can see those comments can get awesome new ideas um, so let us know how you use these oils in the comment section we're gonna give you a minute and um, then we're going to choose three people from the comments to win three three oils so we're going to be giving away a total of nine oils three times three i can do math sort of um and then as soon as we're done with that we're going to do our end of the video giveaway so make sure you let us know how do you use these oils what's your favorite way what do you love about these oils we want you guys to share um so that our customers can find awesome new ways to use that and danny if you could help me choose these winners, that probably, that's going to be a lot easier for me. Um, and then we are going to do the end of video giveaway. So let us know. I've already shared my top favorite ways to use these oils. Um, let us know your favorite ways to use some of these oils because I know that you guys love um, hearing new ideas from each other. So, so let us know. Um, and while you, while you guys are leaving that, um, just as a reminder, and I think I talked about this on the live on Wednesday, um, but we Plant Therapy has a Facebook group that we started and it's run by our certified aromatherapists and um, it's called Safe Essential Oil Recipes Group. Um, we also refer to it as SEOR often, so if you ever hear us say it, that's what we're talking about. But it's on Facebook, so if you have Facebook, Safe Essential Oil Recipes um, is the name of the group go and search it um request to join the group you do have to request because we we do want to make sure that um you know that it's a legit person and all that who's joining the group we have i don't know probably i mean over a hundred thousand people in that group like it's crazy i don't even know what we're up to now but it's over a hundred thousand people and it's a group where you share your recipes you ask questions like i said it's monitored and ran by our certified aromatherapist so you're getting safe um, good quality information and it's an amazing place to go share your favorite recipes um, get new find new favorite recipes that you haven't tried before it's an amazing group so so go in and check out that group on Facebook if you haven't already okay Danny he said let me know when you're ready I'm ready we've gotten a lot of comments of people telling us how they're using it um, yes tea tree in the laundry Lemon is uplifting, it's energizing. <laughs> um, who said that? Sa I can't read it from here, but someone said lemon makes me happy. Lemon makes me happy too. So Danny's gonna hop on and he's going to choose three winners and let me know who they are. Um, oh, and Caitlin has a reminder too for you guys while Danny's picking those winners. Um, but don't forget that this weekend we'll be choosing our hashtag weekend with PT winner. Um, so if you haven't already, maybe while you're making this, this all purpose cleaner, take a picture of your products, take a picture of, of the DIYs you're doing. Um, whatever it is, we wanna see how you're using Plant Therapy's products right now. So take a picture, post the picture on social media using the hashtag, hashtag weekend with PT. Caitlin, this weekend, as well as all weekends coming, are, is going to um, randomly choose one of the pictures that is shared using that hashtag and will announce the winner on Monday and the winner gets a $15 plant therapy credit. So I mentioned on, on the live on, um, on Wednesday um, that we have a ton of new products coming out. We've talked about the hand sanitizer, the aloe jellies. Um, we have a ton of new products coming out. So a $15 credit, is going to do you a lot of good. So make sure you share your photos, use hashtag weekend with PT, and um, then we'll randomly choose one winner over the weekend and let you guys know who the winner is on Monday and also send them or add a $15 credit to their, their planttherapy.com account. So good luck to everyone. Okay, Danny has winners for me. So our YouTube winner is Joni Martinez, and Joni says all three for cleaning and washing for cleaning products and washing um that's another thing these oils are fantastic in like a, a diy um hand soap as well so liquid hand soap they're amazing so joni martinez email cs at planttherapy.com you just won yourself tea tree blood orange and lemon congratulations um our facebook winner is carl hun or hoon 
Um, Carl says, need to learn more about tea tree oil. I see that it should be in your collection and do need to add it. You do. And lucky Carl just won a tea tree, blood orange, and lemon. So Carl, email cs at planttherapy.com. Um, but tea tree, it's really good for acne too, you guys. It's like you go to the store and you look at acne products and so many of them will have tea tree in them. Like the smell of tea tree reminds me so much of my acne, the acne products I used growing up. Um, I love it. It's seriously such a fantastic oil. It's a must have. So Carl, Joni, um, our last winner from Instagram is Raphael Onidas. And Raphael Onita said, tea tree diluted and fractionated coconut oil for skincare routine. So just like I mentioned, that's kind of funny that that's the one Danny was typing just as I was saying that. But yes, tea tree for skincare is amazing. It's so good. It helps with oily skin, helps with acne. It's amazing. Um, and that's Raphael Onidas. At least that's what I'm guessing um, it is. So Raphael Onidas, email cs at planttherapy.com. You also won a tea tree, blood orange, and lemon. Congratulations to you three winners. We are not done yet because we have one more giveaway. Um, so before I tell you what the giveaway for that, the question for that giveaway is, um, no, I'll tell you afterwards. Okay, so the giveaway, um, you will have until midnight tonight to enter this giveaway, and um, you must enter via the giveaway link. So. Facebook and YouTube, um, the giveaway link will be posted in the comment section as well as in the live video description area. Um, so make sure you click on that to enter the giveaway. Instagram, it's going to be found in the Plant Therapy Instagram stories. Just swipe through our stories until you see the one that says giveaway. It'll have you swipe up and it will take you to the giveaway link. Again, you have until midnight tonight to answer the giveaway question. Giveaway question is, what's your favorite room in your home to clean? And if it's no rooms because you hate cleaning, that is an acceptable answer because that's what I would say. But we wanna know what home in your room is your favorite room to clean. Um, let us know. There's probably a lot of people doing a lot of cleaning right now and it makes it a little bit more fun when you can make your own unique cleaners that smell amazing and, and have all the amazing benefits that you love um, coming from the essential oils you're using. So what, what's your favorite room in your home to clean? let us know. Um, and again, you have until midnight tonight to, to enter. Um, I think, Danny, let's choose, um, let's choose two winners. And these two winners, we're gonna do something a little extra special. The two winners are going to win these three oils as well as our Everything Spring Set, which I have over there and I don't wanna grab. Um, so two winners, Everything Spring Set, and our three Friday oils. So good luck, everyone. Make sure you go and enter. Um, and then just a reminder, make sure you check out these three oils, 15% off through the uh, Monday evening. So check them out. Any size on these three oils, 10 mil, roll on, up to 100 mil, all the sizes, you can get 15% off. Um, and then just a reminder, our Everything Spring Set is still available. Um, so make sure you check out that. If you haven't, it's three amazing spring blends. Um, a lot of information on the blog, DIYs to do with those. Um, so make sure you check it out if you haven't. And then we'll be back on Monday. It's our Mingle Monday, and we'll be giving away an Otis, you guys. So we know how many of you love Otis, our little stinker aroma plush. Make sure you come and join us. We're going to be talking about Otis, giving away Otis, um, and just having a lot of fun on Monday. So make sure you come and join us. That's 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Have an amazing weekend, you guys. Thank you for helping cheer me up when I was getting a little depressed. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Um, our customers are amazing. Keep watching. We love you, and we'll see you Monday morning, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Bye. Oh, you guys, it's so awkward because I say bye, and then I have to come up here and get all close and personal. <laughs>